Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today I wanted to take the new mutants from the update, whether they're uniforms or new characters, into some endgame Shadowland because I like the characters, I like Shadowland. So let's just combine them all together. And I have some particularly interesting ones for you, like stay tuned for Gambit Stage 30, five second one shot on Daredevil. I'm excited to see how he does there. Um, but yeah, since we got the six here, I'm excluding Nightcrawler because, you know, uh, let's just see how they do. So we're going to start it off, stage 25, with uh, Angel. Pro tip for you kind of hardcore players, if you want to challenge yourself, of course, you're going to take this on with just one character instead of three, but you can still collect the bonus reward, which is sometimes better than the garbage rewards from the stage 25 and up uh, clears, by just putting the other two characters on team number two. And you'll see me do this a lot uh, on Twitch if you watch the live streams. And the reason why I do that is so that I can get that check mark there. Because if I take out Mantis, you can see the check mark over here goes away. I put her back in, and voila. And this way, I still get the challenge, but I also get that sweet, you know, 50 gear up kits or whatever it is um, that somehow outdoes the reward that I'm getting from uh, the regular Shadowland. Now, you know, I don't really have a lot of new things to tell you about uh, Angel's uniform. It's good, it's fun to play as, and uh, he's even more relevant as a character because of his uh, debuff leadership for things like Giant Boss. It seems like he has more AoE now, and I should have honestly focused more of my efforts on this asshole right here because of the third skill. His third skill is honestly so good in Shadowland, specifically when he's not on your team. Um, but, man, the rewards, the rewards, the rewards, they're just so bad. Um, Shadowland stage 25 and up, the rewards just don't even come close to the effort that you have to put in. Now, of course, it gets exponentially easier the kind of longer you play Marvel Future Fight, and I'm sure, I wish Magneto had gotten his uniform for this stage. I'm sure that a lot of you who, um, you know, can clear it as easily as I can, um, you just do it and you kind of just don't really pay attention to the rewards and if they somehow turn out to be great one day, yay. But otherwise it's just kind of slogging through the mud. Um, but for a lot of other players, you know, it's, it's frustrating, especially the first couple of times that you complete Shadowland. I think the very first time you complete Shadowland, I think these rewards are better, by the way. The hand chest is better than the uh, Daredevil chest, personally. Um, and I'm, the Villain Sage, I'm actually going to try. I want to try Magneto um, because he is notoriously bad in Shadowland without his uniform. Um, notoriously bad in the sense that he's really slow to clear content. Really slow. But I'm actually going to try Sentinel. Um, and we're going to leave Magneto for a later stage, hopefully more challenging because he is level 70. So we want to push him a little bit harder than we push uh, Sentinel. But, um, you know, I think the first time you clear Shadowland to stage 30, you're not even paying attention to the rewards because you're so hype that you uh, got there. But after the fifth or sixth time that you clear, uh, you start to notice, man, these rewards are really... Uh, they kind of, you know, they kind of sucky sucky, and it's the, it's the bad kind of sucky sucky, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and so, wow, that's like a fifth grade joke there, guys. Congratulations, I've reverted to 2016 Cynic Alex. Um, but yeah, the rewards are really garbage, and I think it's, it's probably the saddest thing for, like, that's a good reward. Um, but sometimes it's a three-star obelisk or a four-star obelisk, and then it's not a good reward. Um, and still, it's actually still not that good, to be honest. You could get two of those, and then it would be a much better reward. I think if they just doubled all of the rewards, or tripled them, then it might be worthwhile. But the fact that these rewards are random and that you only get one, like, you could have gotten a three-star card. Imagine how garbage that is. That's just insanely trash. Um, knowing Netmarble, they're not going to reduce the number of items, like the, 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 the number of items you can get here. Uh, because they want the opportunity to you get some for you to get something bad and so that you feel amazing when you get something good They w they like RNG. It's pretty obvious at this point So my suggestion to them would be just double or triple the rewards So give us multiple boxes that way we have better odds at getting something good And even if we don't get something good, we'll still get more things. I think if we get more things um, You know I, I'm not gonna feel as bad if I get three four-star obelisks because maybe one of them is guard break immunity as the main stat and I really need those to upgrade. Um, this stage, I don't know if X-23 can clear it without her uniform. Um, it's quite a difficult stage in general. It's one of the harder stages in the game, but it's especially... Well, why are they dodging my attack so much? What is going on? Are they suddenly level 70? What? Oh, I'm dead. What is going on? Why are they dodging all of my attacks? What the hell is this? 
He's got the reflect up, so I'm- I just died. What the hell is- what? No! Like I said, this is one of the more difficult stages, and I don't think X-23 can clear it with her uniform- without her uniform. Are you serious? I can't use X-23 on this stage? Who do I have left then? Magneto and, and Gambit and- and who? That's- oh, and Emma Frost. No, I mean, I can't use Emma Frost because she doesn't have penetration. She penetrates shield and barrier, which is not immunity. So this is my only choice here. I, I'm, I can't use Magneto either. This is incredible. Why are they dodging my attacks? This is so bizarre. Are they above level 60? They must be. Well, that's... I'm dead again. Wow, that's news to me. What? This is insane! I mean, there are other... there. Are, I mean, just for the record, guys, there are other level 60 characters that can complete this, but the ones that I usually use are Winter Soldier, Deadpool... Uh, well, they're level 70 now, but they were at the time. Winter Soldier and Quicksilver were level 60, and I was completing this stage uh, and one-shotting these guys, and, and I wasn't even noticing the dodge. Now, both of those characters have ignore dodge, so that kind of does uh, take away from what I'm saying, but this is insane. I'm not even doing I'm not even doing decent damage here because they're dodging all of my attacks. Maybe if I just kite a little bit more, but Dormammu's really the problem here, so I really need to take him down first. And if I actually get the opportunity here, I'm just going to... Oh, that's bad. Okay, well, he's almost dead. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Finally, we got it. Wow, that took three times. I'm not going to edit that out because I want you guys to see the struggle. But seriously, what? It seems like the dodge went away. That is so bizarre. And here come all the conspiracy theories on things like they made Shadowland more difficult after the update. Uh, that was really weird. I've never seen so much, um, th so many of those gray messages saying dodge, do dodge, 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 dodge. And here it comes again. This is so bizarre. Um, yeah, did I just stop paying attention to Shadowland because it's so easy for so many of my OP characters? I do not remember this being a, a thing, frankly. Franklin Nelson and Matt Murdock. I do not remember this being a thing. I'm kind of in shock. What was I talking about? Oh, right. Shadowland rewards are garbage. Yeah, so, I mean, they're even talking about it on Reddit a lot lately. Uh, also in relation to Giant Boss Raid, and, and I can understand that. We're going to be able to clear this, though. Uh, I can understand that people are upset that the rewards are just, you know, completely uh, bad 99% of the time. Um, and I understand that from Netmarble's point of view, they want to uh, foster that feeling of getting lucky. Oh, I might actually not clear this. I have 8 seconds. Wow, that was so hard. Let me know, for you guys out there that have a better built X-23, a minute 30 to clear stage 27, no leadership. I didn't even, did I bring other two other characters? Dang it, did I, or didn't I? Uh, what? Oh, this is last week, I'm so confused. I can't even see who I cleared it with this week. Okay, whatever. That thing confuses me. Um, stage 28, oh, perfect stage for uh, Emma Frost or Magneto. Stage 29, though, we know is going to be the uh, the Black Order. So I actually want to, I actually want to use Magneto here, and they reflect physical attacks. I think he can die, but hopefully I'll just kill them before. I just got Magneto to level 70 on Twitch uh, tonight. Uh, got pretty lucky. Got really unlucky at the beginning of his gears. Got really, got really lucky at the, uh, got unlucky at the beginning. Got lucky at the end. Yeah, this is an eclipse. They're just getting obliterated. So, you know what this means? This means I can use Magneto for my uh, speed run now. He's he's suddenly good enough. And I don't know if it's the you know it's just the uniform or it's also the level 70. But damn, that was a badass seven second clear. Maybe I should have used. Uh, Magneto on this stage and used Emma Frost on the last stage, but we're gonna try her out here see if she can manage We're gonna throw a couple other blast types down here just for fun uh, And hopefully I think she can do it. She has mind control. She's got uh, lots of iframes. She's got this 85% damage uh, Reduction, uh, I think I'm just gonna go right into the fifth skill and I'm not gonna cancel because I want to see uh, How they like if I hit everybody Yeah, I did so we are gonna cancel there we go if I didn't hit everyone, I wasn't going to cancel, because I don't want to get any kind of CC uh, from them. But if we do, Corvus is loose somewhere. Her damage is obviously not that good, because I don't have a leadership and I don't have a damage proc, so there's that. And I don't have her level 70, of course. 
Um, I think I'll probably will try to get her level 70 uh, eventually. I say eventually because... Oh, I canceled my fourth skill. That's great. I do say eventually because I have a lot of other mutants to get to level 70 first. And she is not high up on that list. Uh, still have to get... Uh, of course, Gambit is the next big one. Uh, and then possibly Weapon Hex ahead of her. I'm not sure... Oh, am I going to be able to clear this? Maybe she needs a support. Because I don't have a damage proc. And I'm also missing attacks. Stealth buff to Shadowland? Question mark? Come on. You can do it. Oh my gosh, you cancelled my skill, you jackass. <sighs> That's fine. We're okay. I can definitely do it. Just need to be a little bit more aggressive. I think the second half will be easier for some reason. Um, but now that I think about it, Ebony Maw is a huge jackass when it comes to skill canceling. Uh, can I mean, canceling your skills. So, yeah, I gotta be like super aggressive. Okay. You guys were giving me a lot of shit when I did the original video about Emma, because uh, I wasn't, not a lot of you guys, but some of you guys were saying I, I'm not canceling her skills properly. I don't have a damage proc, so uh, that's why I don't cancel her skills so super aggressively, uh, it, because it doesn't really matter. I mean, oh my god, are you serious? I mean, getting those getting those extra hits in from 1 and 2 is definitely important, don't get me wrong, um, but it's more important that I understand where the enemy is, especially for World Boss Ultimate. So, there you go. That was a lot faster. I was way too passive and way too kind of scared the first time. So, we just we know we have to be super aggressive right out of the gate. And Thanos is the one kind of being a jerk here. What a surprise. Not surprised. LOL. Okay. We're doing pretty good here. Get some damage in. Get some damage in. Iframe, iframe. Make them stand still. You die. Make him die, make him stand still, make him die, what the hell? Make him die, make him die is a pretty good motto, I'd say. Got 30 seconds, but it is Thanos, so uh, if anyone's going to give us a hard time, it's of course the Mad Titan. But I think, ooh, getting them both in the laser there is pretty much, yep, that's clutch, that's game, baby. Bye-bye, superior mind damage user, Emma Frost. What did I get, got something red? That's a good item, and let's say... If I got it double or triple, if I got two or three of these, that would be a, a really awesome reward. That'd be worth about 300 crystals, roughly. Uh, the last one here we have is Gambit, and I'm really excited. I'm not going to bring any help for him. I want to see, can you, Mr. Gambit, because right now I use Thor for my speed run to finish this stage in about six seconds. I want to see, can uh, Mr. Mr. Remy? No. Now that's kind of disappointing. I mean, I'm not disappointed. I am disappointed, but that's not bad. Nine seconds, no help. Uh, level 70, ooh, you know what? See, again, if I got 20 tickets instead of 10 and I got two of these instead of one, this would be a good reward. But the fact that it's only this, I mean, this is basically a login reward. And this is half of what you get each week for timeline battle. Is this harder than timeline battle? Kind of, yeah. I mean, just for participating in timeline battle. Just participate 60 times and you get double that reward, right? So, no, sorry, what? Misclick. Just participating uh, 60 times gets you that. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think of the Shadowland clears with the new X-Men. Let me know what you think of the exclusion of Nightcrawler. Does that make me uh, anti-mutant? Let me know what you think of the Shadowland reward ranting. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and you want to support me. Hit the bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. And, of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you tonight on the live stream when I'm going to be dressing up in Halloween costume. Take care.